What's going on guys, my name is Kyle from Techademics and today I'm going to show you how you can allow a port through your onboard firewall on Windows 10. Okay, so you might have port forwarded um, on your internet through your browser but the port still isn't working. So to test this you can actually go to this website here, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm going to type in the typical Minecraft port 25565, scan port and it just times out. So this means we need to either allow it through our firewall, which is one solution of fixing this, which I'm going to show how to do that now, or if it's a much serious problem, and then you may need to contact your ISP. Okay, so what we're going to do is go down to this little circle, or you click on the Windows icon and type in Control Panel. Once you've done that, you want to go to System Security, and you want to click on Check Firewall Status. Now you want to click on advanced settings, you will need to be an administrator to do this and once you're through the window will look like this. So it may look a bit scary to people that don't really know what's going on right now but don't worry about it, it's really easy and I'll show you how to do it. So what you want to do really is port forward your port through your, um, through your firewall, so in this case Windows Defender. This is exactly the same as doing it through the internet but we're just going to do it through the firewall. So what we're going to do is click inbound rules and then we're going to click on new rule. So because it's a port we want to click on port, we're going to click next and you have TCP and UDP. So Minecraft uses both of them. So all we're going to do is select TCP, select a specific port, so 25565, click next, allow the connection, yep, keep all them ticked. And then we want to come up with a name so we know how to recognize it. So we're going to port MC, TCP, and then we're going to click finish. Now once we've done that, we're then going to make a new rule. And basically do the same thing, port, but this time we're going to do the UDP. And yet again, 25565 or whatever the port may be. Just repeat the process, and then when you get to the end, I'm going to put MC UDP so I know what uh, port this is actually allowing. So here's the two new ports that I've allowed, and now we're going to do the same thing, exactly the same thing, but on the outbound rules. So we're going to click on that, click new rule, and we're basically just going to do the same thing on here. So I'm just going to speed up this video right now. Okay, so as you can see, there's my two new ports, and when they are tipped, that basically means they have been allowed through the firewall, so we've got inbound and outbound rules should be exactly the same and identical. So, we're just going to close this window now, and we're going to close this window, and if we refresh our, uh, what's my IP, we can basically test if it's worked or not, and that is basically all you need to do. So we're going to click scan port, but before I do that, I'm just going to let you know that mine personally hasn't worked because I do need to contact my ISP. So if I click scan port, it's still going to time out. Now, it does seem like this video has been a waste of time, but it won't because there's a good chance it will work for you. Um, like I said, if it doesn't work, the chances are you will need to contact your ISP, which is your network provider. And that's all there is to it. If this was useful, please leave a like and share it with someone who may find this useful as well. And if you do find videos like this interesting or useful, just subscribe to the channel and I upload every week so then you can be informed about the latest solutions to your problems. So that's everything. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.